China urges Hui, uh, the founder of Evergrande, to tap wealth firms to repay Evergrande. This is an Evergrande update. Uh, China has urged companies to make payments on offshore bonds and asked China Evergrande Group's billionaire founder Hui Ka Yan. I hope I'm not butchering that. Uh, apologies if I am. To tap his personal wealth to help solve the company's deepening debt crisis. Uh, officials from the National Development and Reform Commission and the State Administration of Foreign Exchange told developers at a meeting in Beijing on Tuesday that they must make payments on time if possible. According to people familiar with the matter, any developer that can't meet its debt obligations must inform regulators immediately uh, the people said. Meanwhile, Hui, uh, who has collected more than $7 billion in dividends from the company over the last 12 years, uh, is facing pressure to dig into his own resources to ease the credit crunch at the embattled developer. His associate also pledged a house in Hong Kong as collateral for a loan. Uh, China has clamped down on the indebted real estate sector, making it difficult for developers to refinance as they face falling home prices and sales. Multiple developers have defaulted this month, although Evergrande made a coupon payment last week. The focus now turns uh, to the end of a grace period on another Evergrande dollar bond later this week with creditors bracing for the an eventual debt restructuring that could rank among the largest ever in China. Evergrande's bonds edge higher and its shares were little changed. So key developments uh, pledged. Uh, why did they put the key developments at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, this um, this is kind of a big deal, I think, in my opinion, uh, if they if. If China can actually put the pressure uh, on its on the founder of Evergrande to pay down some of the debts uh, with their with his own money, that is pretty incredible. That is not something that uh, I think it, I think it actually becomes more of a statement than anything about the um, quote unquote power of 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 communism and like yo like hey we're communists and this is how we run things. And, and, you know, you can't just like get a golden parachute and jump out, you know, jump out the plane while everybody else goes down with the ship. So, I, you know, I, uh, very much kind of applaud it. I, I, I don't know. I think personal responsibility take, you know, does start to t take a, you know, needs to be at play here. And I think that we here in America have been way too kind to uh, too many people who did get their golden parachutes. Meanwhile, in countries, uh, I think like Greenland or Iceland or in Europe somewhere, they, you know, those those people that were responsible for 2008, uh, 2009 crash, uh, they were not just able to just basically go scot-free and, and go do whatever they wanted to do. Um People were held accountable, and I think that's one place that we are sorely missing uh, here in in the states is accountability uh, for for things like this. Because again, uh, I I am not pro Evergrande. I I you know somebody in the comments said, oh you know you're just promoting you know investing in China. No, I'm I'm not. What I'm what I'm saying is is that we are all affected in this global economy. Uh, based on what happens uh, in China. And if things belly up there, guess what? It's coming to our front doorstep. It's going to affect us. Um, so I, you know, I, I, at least in the, in the short term. So I, I, I want to see people prosper. That's always first and foremost, people first.